These quotes reflect the lived experiences of gender minorities and marginalized individuals who are disproportionately affected by climate change and disaster impacts in Asia and the Pacific, which is home to some of the most disaster-prone areas in the world, including the Philippines. With the mountain city facing a growing risk of flooding, Baguio City in the northern Philippines has incorporated a gender-transformative approach in the design of its smart flood early warning system and flood information and mitigation measures, which is currently being developed with the help of the ASEAN Australia Smart Cities Trust Fund, or AASCTF. We talk about Baguio's strategic vision of becoming a resilient city within the context of climate change and increased risk of flooding and natural disasters. Key to becoming a more resilient city is ensuring that we can better meet the needs of all our citizens, particularly those who are marginalized and vulnerable. So with AASCTF support, we identified this project to ensure appropriate, applicable, and timely early warning reaches the last mile. AASCTF partnered with global consulting firm Ramble and Practical Action Consulting for a study to identify the most vulnerable communities in Baguio. The study will help shape the design of the city's smart flood early warning system, which is currently being developed with the city of Baguio. The study applied practical actions UN Women Endorsed Missing Voices methodology, which utilized anonymous phone interviews to allow for open discussions with the most marginalized and vulnerable members of the Baguio community. Interviews were then combined with data from community surveys, interviews with local groups and government agencies, and supported by existing studies. Our holistic approach gave us insights into how gender affects people's experiences of floods and of flood early warning. And with our Missing Voices interview specifically, we were able to understand the experiences of people with intersecting vulnerabilities, such as women who are also widows or who have a disability. A lot of the time we have people who are in these vulnerable, very marginalised communities or groups, and they can often be missing from the data because they are hard to reach in some way, um, or because they're not comfortable speaking with researchers. And when they're missing from the data, that means they're missing from policies. The report gave recommendations on nine key areas, including that Baguio's early warning system should prioritize enhancing people's knowledge of flood risks to improve preparedness. To meet people's varying needs, the current one-size-fits-all approach to early warning needs to be modified, with separate warnings to be issued for weather forecasts, preparedness alerts, and evacuation instructions. And that gender vulnerabilities are important factors in setting up evacuation shelters, as study respondents cited concerns on safety, overcrowding, and lack of toilets and facilities in these centers. Disasters are not gender neutral. The needs and priorities of women and other marginalized groups are complex and diverse. Their voices must be heard when designing and implementing flood early warning systems to ensure the method works for everyone.